What up, people? Adam Wallace, getting ready to run into the gym and crush a leg workout. I was looking into El Conquistadores this week just because of Columbus Day having been this past Monday and came across Hernando Cortez, who in 1518 sailed from Cuba to the Yucatan Peninsula in search of the largest treasure that was known to man at that time. So upon convincing his men by telling them about this treasure and the impact it would have on their lives, that it would affect generations to come for their families, they then all agreed to set sail with him. And upon the voyage from Cuba to the Yucatan Peninsula, the men then started having questions and doubts on whether or not it would be worth all that they were going to go through and that uh, they started wavering in their commitment to um, go after this treasure. So upon landfall, Hernando Cortez then gathered all of his men together. They then discussed the benefits of discovering this treasure again and how it would affect them for generations to come. And then upon the end of that, he then told the men to burn their ships because that would give him the only option of getting home was to win the battle against the fierce warriors that they were about to go against in order to conquer them to take this treasure. And the only way to get home at that time would then be to sail on those people's ships back home. So it gave them no option. And something crazy happened was that the fact that they fought better than they had ever fought before when they burned the ships and their only option was to win or die. So I started thinking about this, and for me, it was when I got into real estate, I had that safety net of the restaurant business that I worked in, and um, that I had the income from that, and I didn't want to give it up. And when I finally decided to fully commit and burn the ships by putting everything I had into real estate is when things started happening for me. Uh, my And I did everything to the best of my capabilities at that time, which in turn, my capabilities then started growing because I had the time and the energy to put into learning more, growing more, and becoming more and the real estate aspect of it so that I really truly started loving what I did and my business then grew in turn. So it made me think about the fact that when I had that same safety net I was half in half out but when I finally fully committed and it was my only option that it became a passion for me and that has been in turn how my business has grown and continues to grow this day um, and personally I'm happier because I'm not spread so thin all over the place and worrying about financially where things are going to come and, and how I'm going to pay bills uh, because I'm, I'm not one in or in all in on one or the other. So I was just thinking about that and uh, thought that it was something that might be pretty cool for me to share with everyone. So I'm going to go in here and crush my leg workout and get this Thursday started right so that I can go out and make my dreams come true. Y'all have an awesome day.